Interbark Outdoors coverage of SHOT Show 2014 brought to you by Tannerite Sports. My name is Rory and I'm here with the Shock Knife. Now the Shock Knife came out eight years ago in response to law enforcement, military corrections to have an effective training tool that would put officers in the same mental state they'd be under under a real deadly force encounter. Uh, prior to the Shock Knife, you used a rubber or a plastic training knife to simulate an edge weapon, but it didn't elicit any fear response from those training with it. And then came the Shock Knife, which suddenly we now have a pain penalty in training where when an individual touches the blade, there will be a consequence for mistakes. Now in training with the shock knife, you no longer have individuals reaching out, grabbing the blade, trying to take the knife away. Instead, the first response in any deadly force encounter, spontaneous attack, is to immediately, once they see the knife, to go to their firearm, get back and take appropriate action versus staying into the fight. So that came out eight years ago. And since then, we've, uh, uh, use the same shock knife safe technology to introduce a product in the firearms force on force training industry and we now have the world's most advanced tactical training system for a force on force scenario based training and Thane over here is wearing our new stress vest gen 2 with the stress vest it is point of aim accuracy and we've replaced projectiles in training with infrared laser pulses so when a laser pulse hits center mass on this vest it's going to activate the vest and it's going to deliver either a vibration for the role players or it will shock the trainees and there's a pain penalty again associated with it so this wireless stress x belt has our same safe shocking technology that we originally introduced with the shock knife eight years ago the other nice thing with the belt is that it's it's completely software based and it has advanced training modes what I mean by that is we can adjust that shock pain penalty from level one to level five so that you can have, for example, a new recruit uh, who is very timid, maybe very, very intense, uh, very intense training, They're, they are intimidated by that. You can dial their pain penalty down uh, to match the experience level. You have someone else, special forces, jack it up right to pain penalty five, run them through the same scenario with different pain penalties appropriate to their experience. The other neat thing is we have different modes such as move to cover. Move to cover, each successive hit will get more painful than the last and give them an incentive to move to appropriate cover. Injured officer training modes are other ones we have where upon being hit, the belt is going to deliver a shock at whatever level it is set to, but then it's going to continue to deliver that pain penalty randomly for the next 10, 20 or 30 seconds. Simulating an injury, but you're not dead, continue to fight. Other neat things about the stress vest are we've got a head sensor that he's wearing. It's going to capture any hits to the facial region. The same head sensor comes in a uh, goggle format for uh, SWAT or military professionals. We've got with it complete dry fire um, weapon systems, uh, CO2, and also blank fire uh, weapon systems that you can use uh, that are the most realistic. Uh, what Thane's holding here is our dedicated uh, dry fire pistol. It's a converted CERT. Um, pistol from next level training. The other neat thing is we've got integration with IEDs, so improvised explosive devices, various, uh, various configurations, pipe bomb, suicide vest, and we've integrated that so when that IED is exploded, detonated, anyone within the kill radius, their vest will be activated. So for example, you could have a SWAT team doing an entry and you've got a tripwire bomb there that is detonated, everyone in the kill radius, their vest will be activated. And there, if in the injured officer mode, the vest will continue to deliver that pain penalty and the team has to continue with the objective while under the stress of randomly being hit now because we're simulating an injury. The other neat thing with the system is we have an instructor CQT tablet. Now what the tablet can do, it can sync or connect up to 10 different stress vests. So for example, we have this belt connected to the tablet, I'll get Thane to hang on to it here. Then as an instructor, once it's synced up to the belts, they're all inert. I could shoot Thane's vest all I want, it's not gonna activate it until I declare the scenario live. Once I double tap on live, now all the vests that have been synced up to the tablet are good to go and they'll deliver whatever they're preset to, vibration or uh, shock. Now the nice thing about the tablet is it gives the instructor the ability to reach out and activate any one belt that is synced up. Where that's useful is, for example, you might have a role player uh, hiding in a closet somewhere and the instructor wants to, to notify them when they want to attack. They can now remotely reach out and touch that role player, signaling them to attack. 
and at the perfect point in time in that scenario. For the student's perspective, if a student's standing in the threshold of a door and their firefight starts, they're not taking appropriate cover, they duck behind the door, the instructor can then reach out and activate their belt remotely to signal those rounds cooking right through the door and um, uh, causing some damage as we know they would. The other neat thing with the tablet, it'll maintain the heart rates of all the trainees. With a polar heart rate monitor on any trainee that's synced up, the instructor can instantly see the high, low, and in real time what the, what the heart rate is. We can also activate any one belt, but all the belts. There's also a camera in here at the push of a button. I can videotape the scenario and then play it back for instant debrief after. And when the scenario's over, I hit cease fire and all the belts are inert, giving the instructor complete control of our stress vests in their training environment. So the system has come a long way. We're very excited. Uh, agencies such as the FBI, FLETSI um, have adopted it in their academies and they're currently using it. And we're excited to see where it goes because it adds just a ton of training value uh, to the trainers out there and ultimately saves lives.